Here's problem 26. It says, look at this triangle. So we have it 4, 5.5, 5.5. So two of the sides are the same length. Which triangle is similar to the given triangle? Well, we have two sides of the same length. So everybody here has to have somebody the same size. Now, what does it mean similar? Basically, it means this triangle is either expanded at the same rate or shrunk down at the same rate. Um, it's like putting it on a Xerox machine and either shrinking it or expanding it. Um, so let's see, we either had a contraction here or we did something. Well, let's see, we got two sides of the same length. These two are the sides, so maybe it looks like we took the 5.5 and shrunk it down. 4 went to 3, 5.5 to 4.125. So this is a possibility. Let's look at this guy. I just want to sort of mark out some that I know aren't solutions. None of the two of these sides aren't the same. They're all different. Where two of them are the same. So if it shrunk down, these two sides had to shrink down at the same rate. This guy didn't. So I know this guy's not a possibility. This looks like, oh, okay, two sides the same. But wait a second. This short side was four. If it shrunk down, it would have to be the 5.5. That means it expanded. And the 5.5 is then shrunk to four. This doesn't make any sense either. Because the four expanded to a 5.5 and the 5.5s shrunk to a 4. You can't have one side expand and one side contract. That doesn't make sense. So C and D are out. So it's one of these guys. Now, as we say, if they're similar, that means the sides would either expand or contract at the same rate. So this is the shortest side here. It over the shortest side here would be 4 is to 3 as the 5.5 is to this guy's 4.125. Now, if they're similar, when we set up this proportion, the 4 to the 3, because this is the shortest side and that's the shortest side, so 4 corresponds to the 3 is equal to 5.5 corresponding to 4.125. If they're similar, this will be a true statement. We can cross multiply. 5.5 times that gives me 16.5. And 4 times that looks like it's going to work. It's going to be choice A here. If we try to do this one, we set up the proportion. We'd say, hey, 4 is to the short side 3 as the 5.5 side is to the 5.83. Now, again, we have the same problem. You know that's not going to work because 4 is to 3, so it shrunk. The 5.5 then expanded. So I should have just marked off B to begin with. All C, D, and B, none of them would have worked anyway. It didn't make any sense, so I knew it had to be A. But again, what I do to check and see that they're similar is I see that their sides are in proportion to one another. 4 is to 3, as 5.5 is to the 4.125. Cross multiply, see if you get equal numbers. You do, so you know those two triangles are similar. There's problem 26.